<laughs> my fiends, welcome. <laughs> my students, my students at UTLA, University of Transylvania, yes, Los yes. Angeles campus. <laughs> You're looking very good today, Professor. Thank you, You've sir. You've been getting some night air. <laughs> we are studying the occult. <laughs> they are studying each other. <laughs> we have some class assignments. I'm yes, Mr. Yes, and what was yours? Mine was to get a finger mm. from the trigger finger from an L.A. policeman. Ah, I can see you bit it off. Yes, I did. <laughs> and I also bit off the arm of his daughter. <laughs> yes, the young blood is delicious. <laughs> and the ear and the chicken egg. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> Always do your assignments, don't you? Ah, yes, teacher's pet. Yes, <laughs> you, you are next, sir. Well, as you know, I was supposed to try to communicate with Rudolph Valentino and get an interview. Well, it was a failure. I spoke to his secretary, and he wasn't interviewing anyone. Oh, yeah. how He's sad. in a very bad mood. Did you go to the seance? Yes, and he's a very boring man. <laughs> He's been bored six feet into the ground, yes. as a matter of fact. Yes. Yes. How about you back there? Oh, 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 oh. oh, they have their fangs locked. My goodness, ripped right out. I've had my eye on her for some time. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. My assignment was to find someone who I didn't care for and to put an evil hex Voodoo curse on. Yes, voodoo is wonderful. Yes, and there he is. Marvelous. He's laying on his uh, hotel floor right now. <laughs> I won't tell you who he is because we'll be shut down tonight. If ah. And what have you, my love? Oh, I have a half-eaten lily here. <laughs> yes, and it's still being eaten. Ah, lilies are delicious. Aren't they? And so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad we have such wonderful students here. Thanks a lot. Oh, this is all God. jive. You're all phonies. What? You're no vampire. You're all Don't putting believe. everybody on. Well, doesn't there's believe no the truth account? in this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're all phony. Voodoo is wonderful. That's not a real arm. It's a plastic arm. That's a stupid leg. You're stupid. You're yes. dumb. You're ignorant. And you're sir. ugly. And you have a voodoo doll of you, sir. Sure. Yeah. What, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> huh? You have no fear. Oh, I'm, no I'm fear afraid of the thing. You put the pin in there. Oh, you get the heart. I'm a believer! I believe! I believe you think of a finger. Party pooper! Some foul fiend, some horrendous creature has taken one of the most talented comedians in the world and put a hex on her. <laughs> Fabulous Faye McKay cannot make her next show. Not the Tower Suites at the landmark unless we bring her out of this terrible trance. <laughs> oh, good grief. Good heavens. This is a super trance. <laughs> We've got to go into a deep, deep concentration to bring her out of this. Oh. Yeah. The powers that be, yeah. the powers yeah. of darkness, yeah. work to restore yeah. our wonderful yeah. friend. Yeah. Oh, come out of it. Come out, come out. You will come out of it. Oh, oh. oh how it can worked, I thank you? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so thrilled it's working. Ah, uh, we do want oh. here in the graveyard. <laughs> oh, I'm all still one. <laughs> oh, oh, can I thank you? <laughs> can I thank you? <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> along about 3 a.m. I will it? sneak through your window and bite your neck. <laughs> Right now, we'll go back to the movie. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> what could this miserable creature be creating? We have a very special feature tonight for our ladies of the night, our night creatures. <laughs> Our very fine friend here is going to be interviewed by a special guest, female. Mmm, it smells delicious already. Oh, it's fine. We have a female interviewer. Miss Femme Fatale will take over, and I will fade off and bite some choice neck. <laughs> Hello, ghouls. <laughs> Tonight, we have something very, very special in store for you. We're going to be talking with one of the, the master chefs. He has cooked in some of the finest dungeons of Europe. I'm speaking, of course, of none other than Klotkin, the coagulating gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> I have brought a recipe to you today, Madame Fonfatel. Tell us, Klotkin, what are you going to brew up for us tonight? Tonight, I'm going to give you my own recipe for sinistrone soup. Oh, delicious, <laughs> delicious. Let's begin. Well, if you will just stir this, I'll read the recipe for you. Now, I want all you ladies in the audience to please get out your pencils and I'll try to read it slow enough that it can be embedded in your brain forever. Ready. Are you ready? Ready, Klotkin. <laughs> First, take your largest cauldron, <laughs> rinse it out thoroughly in your septic tank, <laughs> and place it over a moderate bonfire. Now, toss in 10 or 12 pounds of nicely rancid bat fat. <laughs> <laughs> when the fat is piping hot, ooh, you may test for this by occasionally dipping a large chested lady piper into the boiling liquid. <laughs> when her shrieks can be heard as far as Pomona, the fat is ready. Wonderful. <laughs> now then, remove the piper. By the way, here's a helpful hint. Yes. If you happen to live near a filling station, have the attendant drain your piper on the grease rack. <laughs> a healthy piper can be used again and again. Frugality. <laughs> mm. Yes. Now then, toss in 20 or 30 cups of finely minced puppy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> if nice fat puppies are not available, Check with one of your more prolific neighbors. Perhaps you can borrow a couple of children. Oh, delicious. <laughs> For this purpose, yearlings are best. Now then, simmer until the puppy is browned on all sides to a golden black. Did you get that, girls? Mm -hmm. Now then, it's time to add 16 gallons of well-seasoned asphalt stock. Mm. <laughs> Lower the bonfire to an even roar. Now, then, while the mixture boils, gather a large bouquet of deadly nightshade, mash it to a powder, and fold it in. Add a gallon each of slivered lizard livers and crushed gnat knees. <laughs> the soup is ready when the stench has wilted the dandelions for a radius of three miles. It should be served in a turtle shell, preferably with the live turtle still in it. <laughs> Highly amusing when you ladle the boiling liquid into the shell. <laughs> And it should be garnished with grated head cheese. <laughs> so, sharpen up your head graters. <laughs> this is Chef Klotsky, the coagulating gourmet, saying, Bon appetit. And rest in peace. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> we have gathered a very unusual group of ghastly looking ghouls, visiting vampires, wandering werewolves and the like, creatures from the night. <laughs> and you little ghoul, what's your name? Baby Jane. Ah, I can tell what happened to Baby Jane. <laughs> I'm sending a letter to Daddy. He's out of his head and above. <laughs> ah, yes, and you? Who might you be? I am Miss Nasty Nurse. Miss Nasty Nurse. <laughs> Complete with a terrible witch's curse. They tell me you have a political affiliation. Yes. But what I am a George Wallace supporter. Ah, you have my sympathies. <laughs> Outside of that, yes. I just spook around the house all day. <laughs> oh, you're wearing the sheet, but it's supposed to have a cone on the top. <laughs> to cover the usual point for George Wallace supporters. <laughs> what else is out there? What other strange creatures? <sighs> this is a weird looking thing. Some resemblance to the vampire. And who, sir, might you be? I am the ghost of Dr. Shivago. Wonderful. I must search for Laura. La, 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 la. <laughs> I hope he's successful in his quest. I see our chef has found some strange, strange creature. This is filet de mummy. <laughs> it looks delicious. It was. It was. Does it speak? <laughs> Second time around is best. <laughs> Ask it a question and let's see. All right. Are you in there, filet de mummy? I am suffering from claustrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'd better just wrap this up while we can. <laughs> Why don't you do that? Be careful you don't get in a tangle on your way out. <laughs> there they are. And who might the two of you beautiful creatures be? I am the VT Bat. Yes? <laughs> and I spread my bat guano all over. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that next to you? Actually, a part of you. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the part of me. Speak, lovely one. <laughs> <laughs> Strange creature. Yes. Yes. Siamese twins, but these have fun. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah, what else have we out there? Something else strange? Ah. Is this one? Yes. What you be, sir? State your name. My name is Mr. Death. Yes, and why? Tell us, if you will, why they call you Mr. I Death. I represent all the entertainers that die on stage. <laughs> I have died myself many times on stage. <laughs> Would somebody get the hook? <laughs> and you're dying right now on camera. Oh, what a beautiful creature. Look her. Oh, my love, who might you be? My name is Lucretia Borgia Calhoun. <laughs> I was the first Miss America in you Ought certainly Two. certainly missed, I can tell that. I died <laughs> in Ought Eight. Since then, I've won several beauty contests where I live. That's because everybody says I look like hell. <laughs> <laughs> We've certainly had a weird collection here this evening. Now, let's get back to our feature presentation. 